American politics be like? Yep, exactly. It's all just for show. Nickelodeon's broadcast. Taylor Swift's boyfriend. Good at football. They say cows are bad for the environment. All they do is eat plants and fart. Kind of like vegans. There's a magic machine that sucks carbon out of the air, costs nothing to run, and builds itself. It's called a tree. More than that, it also makes oxygen, building materials, a heating source, and much more. The OK hand gesture is now listed as a symbol of hate. The OK hand gesture is among 36 new entries in the Anti-Defamation League Hate on Display database. This nation just gets dumber by the day. Emigration from India to Australia is now at record levels, and the city of Ryde has had to put up signs asking people not to p in the public parks. Well, that's pretty much the same thing as most of the big cities here in the U.S., like Seattle, Portland, pretty much all the cities of California, Chicago, New York, St. Louis, and most of the other major cities across the U.S. to one degree or another. Carbon dioxide is a nutrient, not a pollutant. Without CO2, life on this planet would end. This is a very simple, basic fact. Robin Williams once said, a hungry stomach, an empty wallet, and a broken heart can teach you the best lessons of life. That's true, but sometimes the last one you just can't change. I never thought I would witness a time where Disney movies are more focused on spreading propaganda rather than providing entertainment. There's no such thing as government funded. It's all taxpayer funded, including all 150 countries that the U.S. government sends money to, meaning there's only 43 countries on Earth that the U.S. doesn't officially financially support. Each large muscle of a bodybuilder represents a language he didn't learn, a poem he didn't read, a fun fact he never memorized. That guy said, the society that separates its scholars from its warriors will have its thinking done by cowards and its fighting done by fools. However, you appear to be both a fool and a coward. Well said. Both sides of the government are beyond corrupt. 100% fact. They are all actors to distract the people while the same agenda continues forward unabated every single day. Incredible! Our findings match exactly what the people who write our paychecks said they should be. I kind of had to blur out his jacket, but you guys get the gist of it. Car salesman slaps roof of Illinois. This bad boy can fit so many taxes in it. As far as state taxes is concerned, they're not even in the top 10. But government theft, called taxation, takes about a third of everything you make right off the top, and then you pay even more on every single thing that you buy, sell, property taxes, vehicle registration, license plates, fuel taxes, and so much more. We offer a competitive salary. Great, how much is it? Don't worry about it, it's competitive. Anyways, what skills do you have? Oh, I have amazing skills. Great, can you tell me more about them? Don't worry, they're amazing. This is exactly the kind of response you should give. When you go do an interview and a company acts like you are beholden to them, completely reverse it. Just tell them you can tell that their company isn't going to be right for you and that you have other companies wanting an interview. Point of view. You spent weeks disregarding and mocking the crazy conspiracy theorists building a giant boat. Today, it began to rain. Yeah, this is becoming increasingly true in recent years for at least some people waking up to these things. How to politely tell someone they are stupid. Wisdom has been chasing you, but you have always been faster. 
I need to remember this one. The Trudeau Liberals are currently ramming Bill C-11 through Parliament. If passed, the law would give Trudeau's bureaucrats in Ottawa the ability to rewrite social media algorithms. Those algorithms decide what is visible to you on those social platforms. Oh, that's nothing. People like Gates and other high-ups, along with the World Economic Forum and governments, have openly stated that they're going to use AI to do real-time censorship. I even read back some time ago where they're going to change your text messages that you're sending to someone personally on your phone to make sure that they are not misinformation and align with the mainstream narrative. So if you get a text message from someone that sounds completely out of character, that might be why. Crying in Walmart because some teenagers told me I should lose weight when I told them they should wear a mask. I myself need to lose weight, but that's actually a pretty good reply, whether the person needs to lose weight or not. Online romance. It's all fun and games until someone buys an airline ticket. This generation just gets sicker and sicker. Stop unaliving alligators to make gator aid. You know, I'm sure this here's just satire. Well, I certainly hope this is satire. The problem is these days, with as bad as things are getting, very often it's almost impossible to tell what's satire and what isn't. Bureaucrats are not merely unproductive. Their jobs consist in making it harder and harder and ultimately impossible for the producers to produce and for citizens to survive. The U.S. men's curling team looks like a group of dads that were just trying to get away from their families for the weekend, but somehow ended up competing in the Olympics. They actually do, but I think that's great. I'm sorry. Where? Two bodies recovered during a search for missing swimmers at Murderkill River. I don't understand how towns and cities comes up with names like this and think that it's just normal. As Japan runs short of farm workers, bureaucrats get sent into the fields. Local government desk workers are picking fruit and drying kelp, the latest source of labor to be tapped after the elderly, more women, and foreigners. That is perfect. All these government bureaucrats, Congress, and whoever else, any time that they push a bill and want to pass it, whatever the bill concerns, before they're allowed to pass it, they should have to go and do whatever it is they're wanting. Animals be 20 minutes old and already know what to do. Meanwhile, human babies come out with a spot on their head that ain't finished yet. Any communication skills of an alarm clock. That is kind of funny, but it's also kind of true. Barbie didn't get nominated for an acting Oscar, but Ken did. People are pointing out the irony. Fans of the Barbie movie, a film that champions the role of women, were expecting its female star to get an Oscar nomination. I found a reminder of better times. You know, the problem is... If they have this today, that's probably just part of the ingredient list. Which, by the way, bugs being in food isn't a new thing. Like I was talking with one of you guys in the comments the other day, anytime you have food that has a red food coloring in it, a lot of the time, it's an ingredient called carmine, which is also listed as many other different names, which you can Google and find, which carmine is actually made from the cochineal bug. And you'll find it in a vast majority of foods these days. And almost 100% of anything that is supposedly cherries. They even put it in a jar of cherries to make them look even more red. UFC fighter calls on Americans to go to church. Respect the law. Something is wrong in America. Is International Women's Day over yet? I'm starving. Come on, ladies, we're just joking. You gotta admit, it is pretty funny, though. Just because you can, doesn't mean you should. People are crazy. They take more and more risk with their life. And not even for a good reason. 
the comfort with which certain government bureaucrats discuss using force on the American public is disturbing. It's also an excellent advertisement for why we should have far fewer government bureaucrats. 100%. Not just have fewer bureaucrats. You shouldn't have any bureaucrats. Good morning, sailors. Just remember, there is a dog in the military that outranks you, gets higher praise and appreciation. NOAA released this data yesterday. Not one media outlet has reported it. The last eight years have witnessed global cooling, despite 450 billion tons of emissions worth 14% of the total man-made atmospheric CO2. Warming is a hoax, but the media can't, won't, walk back the hysteria. It's never been about anything more than control and erasing private companies and small business. A Chinese woman missing for 10 years and presumed unalive was found living at an internet cafe. A runaway at age 14, she was good at the game Crossfire, so other gamers paid to watch her play it. She slept at internet cafes and public bathhouses until being found at age 24. When you get too high at a party, so you go outside and start thinking about space and... Yeah, that's Neil deGrasse Tyson or whatever his name is. Supposedly an astrophysicist or whatever. He's a complete joke. Women's rights help society. Unions. Uniforms. HR departments. Government bureaucrats. The war. 47% of kids live in divorced houses, three quarters of those are single moms. And most of this was created by the government, using government funded programs, the media, so-called education, and society in general. I met this Danish guy on a train today, and he said he was visiting the US cause he wanted to see it before it ends. And holy p that was probably the funniest, saddest thing I'll hear all year, and it's only January. Pretty smart guy. Danger! Helicopters operate in this area. If you find yourself walking towards a big noisy thing with spinning blades, turn the <laughs> around, Einstein. It's pretty bad when you gotta try to simplify things that should be beyond obvious. LeBron James famous I Promise School speaks out after every single 8th grader fails state math test. Apparently this isn't in one of the states that said that kids no longer have to know how to read, write, or do basic math in order to graduate. When the universe just hates you. Here we go again, entitled Muslim woman who migrated to Ireland and now calls herself Irish, intensely dislikes and criticizes Irish culture for their sense of humor. She says that needs to change in the Irish community. What would you tell her if you were Irish? It's basically the same thing as people in California, and you know the type of people I'm talking about just like those up in the northeastern states and a lot of these big cities. They don't like where they live because of how everything has been run into the ground, crime rate has skyrocketed, they don't feel safe on the streets, and everything else. So they move to someplace else, but then want to turn it into exactly the same thing as where they moved from. PETA The best Thanksgiving meals are the ones no one had to unalive for. Native Americans unalive, no matter how vegan your Thanksgiving dinner is. I've seen interviews with farmers and things that raises a lot of these crops that are the basis for most of this vegan food today, and all of them point blank have stated, if you want to unalive the most amount of animals, become vegan, because of what they have to do in order to raise those crops. Problem solved. Well, this is sort of what's coming, but it's all orchestrated. With that said, there's a whole bunch of the cities that's in the red states there that needs to be picked up and moved to the blue, and there'll be people in the blue that needs to be moved to the red.
I'm not sure if Wrangler Star out in Washington State is in the red there or not. I know Tyler Zed and Deve is up in Minnesota. And there's a lot of others. All Chinese owned, so best you don't explore Smithfield Foods. Why does that sound like it was written by somebody that don't speak English? Regardless, this is true. And they own many, many other companies as well. Abolish the Department of Education. Education belongs to parents and students, not faceless bureaucrats in Washington. Anyone who's willing to stand on simple, basic, true principles, this is how they're always done in the media. Just remember that Ghostbusters began my hatred for bureaucrats and regulatory abuse in childhood. If you guys remember what they're discussing here, drop it in the comments. Wicked and Mona 2 were released on the same day, November 27th, 2024. Feminist when the World War III draft starts. Your Super Bowl snack cost her life. If chicken wasn't to be eaten, then why is chicken made of food? Bureau of Labor Statistics literally just made up January jobs numbers. The January jobs report from the Bureau of Labor Statistics has no basis in reality. The bureaucrats simply made up the numbers to make it look like the economy added jobs. The economy actually lost about 300,000 jobs in January. ADP and BLS's own report admits that. All of their numbers has always been a joke. Most people know that in the unemployment stats, that people that are underemployed, in other words, you got a part-time job for 15 hours a week or whatever, that you are still being reported as being employed, and therefore removed from the unemployment numbers. However, do you also know that anyone that is drawing unemployment compensation, that even if they do not find a job and their unemployment compensation runs out, that they are still removed from the unemployment numbers, which at that point, that means they are being counted as being fully employed. Teenagers, tired of being harassed by your stupid parents? Act now, move out, get a job, pay your bills while you still know everything. Congratulations to our new class president. Of course, the true power will continue to be held by our class billionaire. How government actually works. Who hurt you? Me, bro. I keep making bad decisions. Women when a man has boundaries and standards. This is overwhelmingly true in today's society. When you and your friend argue and then Google confirms your dominant intellect. These days, in many cases, Information from official sources is no longer fact. Want an example? Just Google if there is only two genders. Or go to your local school and ask them. Billions of bugs are set to burst from the ground for the first time in 221 years. In the US, late spring 2024 will witness a rare event where billions of periodical cicadas will emerge from the ground. I guess all the so-called food manufacturers have everything ready and are just waiting for their big harvest. And fantasy? Ever wonder why the little people, dwarves, halflings, etc. are always portrayed as the best cooks? Because Tolkien was British. To him, the concept of good food was as much of a fantasy as elves and dragons. From what I've seen online about British food, I can actually see this being true. But I've never been there. However, I know a good number of my audience is from the UK. So what's your guys' opinion on this? And that was only January. Sadly guys, I think this is pretty much true. I think this year, and it might go as long into next year, is going to get a whole lot worse as we go on. Government at work. It doesn't change even if it's on the local level. The only acceptable reason to drive a Prius. I concur. I don't know how much you actually save though. 
Especially if you ever had to replace the batteries. This one here has to be satire. It's still kind of funny though. Too many bureaucrats, not enough frontline workers. Once again, this is how it works. Parasites. Use lead dispensers to defend schools and children. Use lead dispensers to defend politicians and bureaucrats. Me sending my friends memes when the world goes to <laughs> Left-wing bureaucrats have embedded identitarian radicalism into virtually every department on campus. The University of Florida has created a radical diversity, equity, and inclusion bureaucracy that promotes racial and political preferences in faculty hiring, encourages white employees to engage with a 12-step program called Racist Anonymous, and maintains racially segregated scholarship programs that violate federal civil rights law. It's all about dividing the people and making each side hate the other. And they've done a darn good job of it too, especially over the last decade. Try not to forget, our skies never used to be like this. Have we reached the ultimate stage of absurdity, where some people are held responsible for things that happened before they were born? while other people are not held responsible for what they themselves are doing today. Yes, yes we have. Matter of fact, we've been there for quite a while now. When you realize that for so long the two most profitable enterprises on the planet have been war and illness, it's not hard to understand where this is all going. Compulsory schooling erodes self-direction because children are actively shamed for wanting to learn about things other than what the state bureaucrats demand of them. That's because they don't want a generation that can actually think for themselves. They just want a generation of pacified NPCs to go work demeaning jobs that just barely allow them to scrape by, to sit and do nothing but being entertained by the TV or video games and to do basically what they are told, all while not questioning anything. And to continue this routine, all the way until they die. Due to which, the current generation, in this instance being everyone that's currently alive, due to multiple reasons, are living shorter and shorter lives. How does a country, trillions of dollars in debt, keep giving billions of dollars in financial aid to other countries? Cause that's how they got this nation in such debt, but yet they blame it on the citizens. The more carbon dioxide you have, the more plants you have. The more plants you have, the more oxygen you have. This is fifth grade science. I can't believe how easy it was for them to convince carbon based life forms that carbon is the enemy. And that's exactly the point. Carbon, for them, is the enemy. We are the carbon that they want to eliminate. Bro, what is this? I knew the car I drew in kindergarten was real. That's actually a pretty good description. I purchased a log home from Ikea. I think it looks like you're just trying to ruin a good truck. Bureaucrats figuring out how to use their welfare program for the last homeless man on earth. Accidentally saddling gullible taxpayers with crippling national debt while also going into World War V. When the government starts passing laws that break other laws, maybe it's time to admit we're being governed by criminals. This is woke. This is awake. And then I told those Westerners, hey, it's up to you if you eat or turn on the heat. Ultimately, they don't want you to do either. A sofa for people that wear masks while alone in their car. Did you guys ever see the photo of a guy wearing one while swimming in a public pool? When a wild animal in the wilderness calls out a warning, the others don't question their motive as their instincts are still intact. 
When a human tries to warn his kind, they laugh and call him a conspiracy theorist because their instincts have been rendered useless. There's so many people today that have no critical thinking ability and they don't bother to go check the facts or even care what the facts are. And now for the six o'clock news. This is true, but it's 24 seven now. They turned us against each other to distract us from turning against them. Divide and conquer. These men produced oil for my diesel truck. These children produce the lithium for your electric car. This is also a sad truth. Also, the US has plenty of rare earth minerals, but they don't want them to be known about and won't allow them to be mined. Instead, the US, including the military, is completely reliant upon China and other nations for these rare earth minerals. Compliance is helping create the weakest generation of all time. How you know you're being played. Greta Thunberg, 16 years old, not a scientist, reads from a script, gets 24 seven media coverage. Dr. Judith Curry, climatologist, has published over 140 scientific books and papers, says it's all a hoax, gets zero media coverage. This is what media manipulation looks like. The most powerful governments in the world can't solve homelessness, but they can change the Earth's temperature if you pay more taxes. They never want to solve anything because they're the ones being used to create the problems to begin with. People born before 1990. What absolutely important skill do you possess that no one uses anymore? That's one good answer, but there's also a number of other good answers, such as critical thinking and doing your own research instead of just accepting whatever propaganda you're told as being true. This is the Golden Retriever Convention in Scotland. You either understand history or you trust the government. You can't do both. It's true. I love all the Winter Olympic events. Sliding downhill on a piece of wood. Sliding downhill on two pieces of wood. Sliding downhill in a piece of wood. All amazing. I hope he at least used hot water. For some reason, this is just disturbing. Having your Johnson removed doesn't make you a lady. It makes you a fella without a Johnson. Safety measures on cars, airbags, seat belts, ABS, traction control, brake assist, a thousand pound steel cage. Safety measures on motorcycles. Just hold on. That and you really should wear a helmet. They do save people's lives. How did Beyonce go to number one in 100 countries when there's only seven? Africa, Europe, Asia, and I can't remember the rest. Ah, guys, just dumb and dumber. When you're told not to give your baby honey under the age of one, but are encouraged to inject them with known neurotoxins instead. The two books modern society hates. All right, guys, let's end this video on a good note. Public service announcement. We had a driver that didn't immediately stop yesterday because they said that they didn't see our blue lights. This morning, we topped off all the blue light blinker fluid to make us easier to see. Click on one of the videos above to help support the channel. Please hit that like button and subscribe. I thank you all for watching. This is Acorn, over and out.